earlier this evening, local government officials held their daily briefing at City Hall regarding COVID-19. And as you can see here, all the uh, top officials of the city and county were there. It included the announcement of three new cases of COVID-19, bringing the total to 34. And as we've mentioned, of the 34, six people are in the hospital, two of those in critical condition, while the other four said to be improving now. 28 people are recovering at home. City Manager Peter Zanoni also said that 10 more first responders have been placed in quarantine following this wreck today along Galahar happened this morning. There was blood involved, a lot of touching of the vehicle itself where the patient was in, uh, so that the analysis there from our health director suggested that those folks should be into quarantine uh, because of the blood that was involved and, and the additional uh, management of the actual vehicle where the person was. Her exemptions. There's specific retail now we asked Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales if she thought there were uh, any plans to make latchkey programs possibly available to parents through May 4th to help out with the kids. And Canales saying today she wants to offer whatever resources she can, but she made no commitment at this point. The goal is very simple, to try to help take care of families and try care of, to take care of each other. Um, so we're going to have those conversations and we hope to get back with with you tomorrow. So you pay attention to the rules. And the city and county have been holding regular afternoon briefings like this as the COVID-19 numbers keep rising. I'm sure they will have another one tomorrow for you.